All right. Uh, we are being silly today. Uh, if this is me, Brian. I'm here with Nick and Chris. Yo. <laughs> and uh, we are going to do a reaction to the new Friends Forever trailer uh, for Necromunda Hired Gun. We did a video a few weeks ago where we had a few concerns about the game. Uh, Nick, you were saying that this is the only trailer, the official, only official trailer that has real gameplay, right? Yeah, and it's not that the other games didn't have gameplay. It all had in-engine stuff and gameplay, but this is the only trailer so far that actually has HUD and what it looks like when you are in combat, what your Mastiff is actually doing, things like that. Oh, fantastic. All right. Well, let's take a look. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got here. I hate the song that they used for that, this trailer anyways. That looks really Call of Duty to me. Or no, uh, Titanfall. Yeah, it's, it's it's pretty polished. I could fuck with some Titanfall. I fucking love Titanfall. I, I did too, and I'm not really upset by what I'm seeing right now. Like, the sound the effects. Thing. This is the only trailer that actually shows off their menus and inventory. Oh, oh. That is a big concern of mine because I do like the way that they did them so far from what I've seen, but... Dude... This could end up being really good. It could, it could be terrible. Well, it it, it could. That's the problem. It could. I mean, it looks it, beautiful, but like another thing that really kills me is sound effects in the Warhammer games are always a big fucking letdown, man. So, look at that dog. Yeah, could, could is a scary word. Yeah, that hype train, man. I mean, it's the same thing. Like if you go back and look at the uh, what the fuck is it, Deathwing? No. Oh, or, yeah, if you go back and look at those trailers, it's like, oh, this could be fucking sick. I wanted it. To, I beat that game. Good God, it was so bad. All right. So what I want you to do is uh, rewind it and then change the uh, the playthrough speed to 50 percent. OK. <laughs> and then watch it with no pants. Yeah, I was just about to say, don't kink shit. <laughs> yeah, and then do something really ridiculous. All right. So half speed. Yeah, uh, you may since we're doing a half speed. Actually, if you want, kick it to point uh, two five and then just try to fast forward to where it's actual gameplay so we can look at it in slow mo. Oh, I wondered why you were doing that. I was like, is there some weird yeah. sick reason that you want to watch? No, this I, like I do this with fighting game trailers. So right here. OK, I was like, so just make an it, AMV. Just, yeah, just let it play and just take a good close look at everything that's on screen. So we see, well, right in the top, I see a times 40 thing. So it seems like there's some sort of a uh, combo thing, which I'm actually super excited to see what that might be. Three times ammo box. I assume the ammo box is probably going to work similar to the way uh, was remnant from the ashes works where it's a uh, reusable item that just refills your ammo. So that would be good. Oh, OK, it's like whenever you stop at a yeah, specific like spot every field. There might be an item too with that 3x next to it. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah like that, like they either they just picked up three of them or they have three of them, you know? Right, what I'm saying? right. It's definitely so, a combo multiplier. I'm very like very like bullet storm yeah. is what that makes me think of. I'm yeah. excited to see that. Because bullet storm also could have been good if they just would have never talked. Bulletstorm is the most expensive um, beta I've ever uh, played in, or bought in my life because I bought that game just to get into the Gears of War 3 beta. God, the writer for that game should just... Or the director, I should say, who, who hired... The, no, not hired, but just, God, the voice acting was so bad. Okay, so it looks like it is items of some sort. It looks like that enemy that he was shooting at oh, had... Either was standing on top of ammo boxes or could drop ammo boxes. You see what I'm yeah. saying? They also might be something you can ignite. Or maybe. God, free. God that would be great. Oh, a big oh, I a fucking that. grappling hook. Love it. So it's very like, I hope this is like a lot of vertical. This, I hope it's the speed of Doom Eternal or close to it. Yes. With like a goofy <laughs> combo system like Brink or Wait, like oh, shit. Yeah, if you if you want to stop here, this is actually awesome because this is what I'm excited about. Yeah. I mean, some. Ooh, OK, 
A lot of okay, maxing yeah. possibilities. We got yeah. stats. Well, maybe because okay. this could be a situation where you get to the end of the game and you just have majority of the shit unlocked Hold just on. for playing it. What? So stay that there for exploration. I mean, I love it, but I want to know it, more about it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, what I'm curious about is that symbol you had that we for the suspected uh, combo multiplier. The same symbol is being used uh, for the currency up there. Yeah, yeah, that's your uh, your credits. So yeah, you yeah. Get, you get. So are we sure that's not like a money multiplier? No, uh, no. Like what it seemed to be Coins is that they got them. more money for killing shit because they. Okay, had that's that what combo. I was hoping. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, it'll yeah. be the, the basic currency because like forty k there, there is a like an imperial crown so to speak, but it is right. like money is so loosely monitored really uh, well it's, it's all credits right because it's yeah. all a, a universal currency in but the there isn't like one that's the problem not a lot i thought there was there there was in like 30k <laughs> but after the fall and with everything that happened and like you got to remember like when 40k comes around like in the current timeline like the empire was sort of skidding along about to go off the edge like if it weren't for Gilliman coming back and, you know, the Emperor basically awakening and becoming a god. It... All right, I'm getting into other shit. Let's go back to this game. Yeah, but before you unpause it, look at the bottom in the red. So uh, S class unlock all imprint classes and all mod levels. So um, speed run. And it looks like since what we're looking at is this internal implants thing, mm -hmm. I don't know if this is a skill tree specifically involving implants or you upgrade particular implants but it does look like there's going to be some level of customization to your character yeah. i'm hoping it's actual customization and not like um Dude, loaded jesus <laughs> i i hope it's not like upgrading your guns in doom eternal where i i talked to a few people where they were like oh well, it's gonna take multiple playthroughs to upgrade all your weapons oh, and all right. this shit and it's just like well i mean you get to the end of the game by the time you get to the end you don't want to play it again. you you well, you more or less have all the upgrades that are either good or that you need, or I you mean, you can get all the upgrades that, that you missed the first time, at least. Uh, Say what? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I just remembered like suddenly uh, when I played Doom Eternal, you helped me unlock a gun towards the end of the game that you had actually missed on your first playthrough. And I just remember it was a pain in the fucking ass to unlock. But Oh, there, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it, have stuff like this. <laughs> it looks like there is character building. I just hope you can actually build it. Now, this this is what I want to see more of. Hello. I want to see gun upgrades. Yes, I like. Oh, love it when they have like a name like that. And you're like Deathbringer plus one. Can't remember what that is, but Deathbringer sounds good. I'll take more mm. of that, please. Well, it's, I just, I, I just love how, I love how this UI looks, man. I just, it's so simple. I can look, I know exactly where I need to look for the data. I know exactly how much better this gun is with these attachments. I gotta it's very it's clean, man. You, you, like it. you, you were saying it's like, like, it, like the gameplay looked uh, Call of Duty ish because of the. Speed. look to the fps yeah, portion yeah. Of it. Okay. but like this reminds me a lot of the cod multiplayer when you're uh changing your loadout and this i actually what like I that <laughs> yeah it's so it's streamlined you know exactly what you need it kept me and then you get back. right back in there there's oh. your fucking mastiff now this i actually like if they do him right i'll like it like the only way i think you can do a companion in a game and you know what for for anybody listening i want to know what you think but Anytime you have a companion in a game, it needs to be immune to your damage. Um, because there's nothing worse than like Fallout 4 when you like murk your own pet every time you go to shoot somebody because he hops up. You know what? I'll put I'll put money on it right now. Normal and easy. You're not going to have friendly fire on the Mastiff. Anything yep. above that, you will. I could have. I uh, bet he's 100 percent on that one. I could handle that, especially if multiple playthroughs means that you can make him like a real badass, you know, like well, do me a favor. Scroll back to where they were just doing the Mastiff. I didn't notice this the first time through. OK, okay. let it play. All right, pause it. So body and armor. So 
basically they they very very oh, quickly skill? go through this menu they actually quickly scroll their cursor through all of these different things and if you actually just like pause and unpause very quickly mm -hmm. it should progress to the next one oh, you may have to do it to go frame by frame yeah so this one has cooldown reduction for something that okay the massive abilities are getting cooldown reduction with this one but then unpause it and wait for it to change and then pause it again Boom. Armor. Make your Mastiff more tanky. I like it. Oh, and then do it. like a... Oh, see what I'm saying? I see what you're so saying. There, there's a decent amount of customization. It looks like they're going to give your Mastiff. Maybe not a ton, but... Enough you to know, it interesting, it, it, yeah. Talking about Fallout 4 companions beats the hell out of that. Yeah, I mean, even the modding community had, you know, struggled to really get that dog going for a while. God, he looks so fucking cool. Plus, the Cyber Mastiff is actually a part of the lore, so it's not like they just oh, yeah. made it up for the Especially in Necromunda? Mm-hmm. The Hive Cities? Yeah. Oh, God, look at him. Hello. I just want to pet him. Hello, buddy. Okay. Your head is not furry. Then grappling hook. Looks like they were able to fire it while they were falling. So you can jump off of shit and do what uh, was advertised in Bioshock Infinite, but you never actually did. So I'm excited about that. Like, I remember being disappointed. Now, did did anybody else kind of notice it looked um, and I kind of kind of lost my train of thought, but. OK, maybe he was just falling. It looks like he was he actually slowed down time when he aimed for a second. But I think to be fair, we are at um, yeah, <laughs> we're, to be fair. we're at 25 percent speed. So <laughs> some of it's a little weird, <laughs> but I'm sure there's going to be some sort of a uh, bullet time esque thing when you're sliding or something. Maybe you earn ammo by like killing people in certain ways. I could handle that. Well, he just oh, dropped an ammo box. box. Yeah. Oof, that's a BFG if I've ever seen one. Plasma yeah. gun. I hope they Ooh, stick to I didn't Hold expect up. that. Yeah. I didn't expect that. That um, snuck through on, on mm -hmm. normal human brain. That, that was like maybe 10 frames that I totally missed. So Hi, that, guy. This is my hand made of psychic fire. Oh, Jesus beam. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. That's just that's just magic. And you got his lucky charms. Oh no, that's Mechanicus. Oh, Look okay, yeah, you're right, because he has a big stupid techno arm. Yeah. Oh my god. That was a heat blast. That is awesome. I missed that. So your dude's left arm is all mechanical and probably gonna be used for a lot of utility stuff, and I have no problem. He just with that. he just shot a, like a, a wrist mounted grenade there. Take oh did you see that takedown? Oh god, that looks it cool. It did say takedown. R, boom. So that's gonna be a combo builder right there. This oh, is yeah. this is shaping up to be a lot like Bulletstorm, and what else did we say? I wanted to Call be I wanted to be this mishmash of Bulletstorm, Rage, and Doom Eternal. Oh, Rage 2's gameplay, but nothing else from Rage 2. I know Man. one song off their soundtrack I actually enjoy. Yeah. Rage 2 had some of the best gun gameplay I've ever, ever played or, or had, you know, the chance to play. Dude, whatever that homing is, oh, is yeah. sick. Yeah. And then here comes Puppers. Here, here comes the pup. He's furry. This one does have a furry snoot. Yeah. Oh, look this at this! Before we fucked him up. Oh, All right, man. now we're wa we're watching slow mo at twenty five percent speed. <laughs> just gonna say. You can skip through this a little. It went all snatched on us, and it's like, oh no! Dude. Looks great though. Dude. Yeah. Come on. So I bet you're asking how I got here. Yes. Yeah. A little <laughs> guy Richie moment. There we go. There, we and this is actually a good one to go by because they show off different models of the mastiff with upgrades i'll be really really mad if that dog in this game does not pee on someone oh i'm sure it will. It will probably pee on you right i don't care it's it's gotta happen <laughs> why i'm obsessed with this i don't know i, I don't like, know why either Come i feel on. like it's a trope that needs to you're be in this here. game oh Ooh, so people can just blow up from maybe bolter shells? I would be so okay with that. 
A lot of ogrens. You know, with their weapon system in there, I bet you anything there's ways to modify even the ammo that comes out I, of there. I think we're just seeing a lot of the ogre type enemies just so they show off that mm -hmm. there will be a variety of enemies because we had a couple of different classes of human sized, like man sized enemies, ogre sized mm -hmm. enemies, and uh, heavy suited enemies. So I've got to hear this with noise to know if I'm going to. Be okay with it or not because gun gun sound effects can make or break a game if they're really flat they don't sound good Ugh. but like i remember i still remember the uh the opening scene from modern warfare 3. um you have an m4 i was wearing headphones and i started playing that game and the first time i started firing that gun it just had this you know it sounded like the real thing. It was meaty. It, it was loud as shit. Uh, yeah, well, they paid a shit ton of money for those. Fair enough. Fair enough. But surely there are like stock assets. You know, that they I don't know have. if they're stock assets and it's don't call me Shirley. The, <laughs> Sorry. What they use, what or what Infinity Ward uses uh, or Activision or whatever, what they use That's is an the actual like expensive company who's basically their whole point is the high yeah. end recording of military weapons and armaments. Right, fully for, for military hardware. Yeah, it's gotta be a crazy job. Can you imagine? I mean, just doing it for like a local movie, you'd be taking, you know, like celery sticks and breaking them for broken bones and crazy stuff like that. But can you imagine what like the, the real like high-end movies like a James Bond film would have like the department that would be set up just for that. Yeah. And the cool I mean, this we get to do this. So it's uh, I, I always hate watching like different kind of teaser trailers and stuff because I don't like uh, setting my expectations higher than they need to be. I, I mean, like, I'm actually a bit more excited after watching this. This looks good. Um, I was really concerned the first time, but now a little bit less. What I am going to do, though, we're going to pause here and we're going to actually watch it with sound because I want to know before I like say, yeah, I'm really excited if the sound effects. OK, I so I'm being over. Go it. No, go in with a grain of salt because you probably won't like this song either. And the song is a lot of the trailer. Oh, no. Is it a Borderlands 3 situation? No, uh, it is a licensed song. I just don't particularly like it. It, it matches the mood of oh, the trailer in the game. It matches the mood. I just don't like the song. Fair enough. 